not babies. Um, so today I also want to talk about um, now that cancer season is over and has stopped beating the shit out of me. <laughs> um, I really want to talk about how we accidentally um, transmute um, generational curses instead of breaking them. And how better to help you than story time from my life. So my mother was raised in a household where the kids were an afterthought. Grownups came first, grownups get fed first, whatever was left over was scraps. Love, affection, not so much. All that bullshit. But we ain't talking about that. My mother's idea of transmuting that or of trying to break that generational curse was making sure that I always had access to food. However, that didn't actually break the curse because I still wasn't a priority. I still didn't get a love, get the love and affection. Um, and I was put on the back burner um, for things um, that weren't in my best interest. So do you see how we transmute that? So me, I become a young mom. I decide. I'm about to break this generational curse. I'm going to pour all of myself into my children. My children are going to feel love. They are going to know that they are my heir. That they are just, I used to tell them that my, God carved my heart into four pieces. And that's uh, and each one of those pieces belongs to each one of them. And I had a fifth child and, and that was hard to explain. Anyway, um, so here I am like, yes, I broke this generational curse because if there's one thing, despite all the fucked up shit I did because I was a young mom and I didn't know what I was doing, all of my children became adults and said, mom loves me. That is the one thing. So from my perspective, bitch, I broke that generational curse. I did that. Then cancer season was like, but did you though? Because I didn't. I transmuted it. Because what did I actually do? Um, the generational curse was that I'm not important. The generational curse for my mom was that she wasn't important. And I'm sure the generational curse for my grandma was that she wasn't important. But the answer is, what I did was shrink myself to non-existence so that my children could shine. Um, there was no balance. There was no I matter. So all of that had to be deconstructed in order for that generational curse to break, right? Which means if I had to take a mental health day, I have to take a mental health day. I'm not answering y'all calls. I think I'm going to need a part two.